So what is your initial reaction to that video? You know, I remember uh, leading a Freemason to Jesus a while ago, and that really changed my perspective on the whole, um, you know, thought of uh, Freemasons. And, you know, there are a lot of Christians also, and they go deep into it, and they, um, they come with theories, and some of them are true, but some of them are conspiracy theories. There's truth in most of conspiracy theories, I believe, but you know, some Christians that really are radical in condemning and judging uh, Freemasons, and I'm not. This is not a video to endorse uh, Freemasons or anything, but uh, we have a, as 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 born again believers, we have a ministry of reconciliation. You know, Apostle Paul said that we were once spiritually dead, and now we're spiritual spiritual alive. And who are we to? Uh, judge the non-believers we should judge the one that are inside and um, you know Apostle Paul murdered Christians uh, but Jesus still loved him touched him and saved him and that's our that should be our attitude as Christians you we should you know like Jesus on the cross he says forgive them because they don't know what they do that should be our attitude with um, uh, approaching Freemasons or looking at Freemasons or even Satanists, you know, they're all people looking for truth, I believe, or maybe they have evil intentions, but still they need Jesus, they need the, the love of God and, and, you know, the love and power of God can, can really transform them, like uh, it transformed uh, Apostle Paul, who was on his way to kill Christians in Damascus. So uh, let's, let's um, you know, facilitate uh, for them to have an encounter with Jesus like that. So never forget that, that we should uh, love on everyone. You know, Jesus even says, love your enemies. So love, also love Freemasons um, and, and, and uh, share, share the love of Jesus with them, uh, share the gospel. You know, loving your enemies or loving, for example, Freemasons or Satanists doesn't mean that you uh, support what they're doing or agree what, with, with their beliefs. You just uh, love them for the sake of God, you know, for what Jesus, uh, Jesus finished work on the cross. We need to extend his love to them uh, because he also wants to reach them and touch them and transform them. So that's what I mean with loving um, uh, people, loving on Satanists, Freemasons, uh, anyone. A ministry of reconciliation means that we as ambassadors of Christ reconcile people to God and that's our ministry. I remember having an event in the heart of Amsterdam and there was this uh, pride festival with all the LGBTQ uh, people uh, celebrating their beliefs and I remember leading a transgender to, to Jesus he was really touched by the love and power of God and I shared the gospel with him he gave his life to Jesus he wanted to get baptized unfortunately I didn't have contact with him anymore from then on but you know still uh, that made me realize again that we should um, if we come in a position of being uh, very judgmental towards them we cannot reach them with the love of God of course, you don't agree with, with their beliefs or the, 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 their lifestyles, but um, that doesn't mean you shouldn't uh, love them and share the gospel with them. And I think a lot of Christians, they go very radical with things about LGBTQ, Freemasonry, uh, Satanists, uh, that they forget that they also have a, a ministry of reconciliation for them. I saw this uh, video of a uh, high priest in a satanic church coming to Jesus and that's just because someone shared the love of God with, with him and that transformed him so remember this so that's what I wanted to say uh, God bless you and may the grace of our master Jesus Christ the extravagant love of our father and the intimate friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you always bye bye